All serious players dream about the day they can lift the World Cup trophy above their head as champion. This is the trophy used today, called the FIFA World Cup trophy. Introduced in 1974, it stands at 36.8 centimeters high and weighs 6.1 kilograms. Signed by Italian artist Silvio Gazzaniga after FIFA received 53 submissions from sculptors in seven countries. Believe it or not, despite the trophy being such an important item, it's had a rough history. After the 1994 FIFA World Cup, a plate was added to the bottom side of the trophy on which the names of winning countries are engraved. The inscriptions state the year and figures and the name of the winning nation in its national language. Embarrassingly, Spain was written in English in 2010. However, it has been fixed since, and following the 2014 World Cup, the names of the trophy winners have been rearranged into a spiral to accommodate future winners. The trophy cannot be won outright. Instead, the winners of the tournament receive a bronze replica, which is gold-plated rather than solid gold. Had the same rules as last time applied, Germany would be in possession of the cup, having become the first nation to win the new trophy for the third time. The internet claims that the World Cup has five kilograms of gold in it. So with a few simple calculations, chemistry professor Martin Polyakov of Nottingham University calculated that a solid gold World Cup trophy would weigh around 70 to 80 kilograms. That's about the same as a heavy adult, making it too heavy for footballers to lift over their heads. Therefore, it must be hollow. Polyakov reckons the ball at the top must be hollow, partly to be light enough to lift, and partly because if it wasn't, it would be a big waste of gold. So for all we know, it could be filled with polystyrene. Also, it's not even pure gold. Because gold is such a soft metal, the trophy would start deforming after being handled if it was made out of pure gold. That's why it's approximately 75% gold and not pure gold. These other metals have been added to the gold to make it tougher. In terms of raw materials, with its malachite base and 5 kilograms of 18 karat gold, at current prices, the trophy will net you about $200,000. However, you'd be mad to scrap it. Its sentimental and historic value is far higher than that. In fact, USA Today values it at an estimated $20 million. Even so, I'm sure there are billionaire football fanatics out there that would pay many more millions than that for it. I'm from London. I was raised on football and the collaboration of Louis Vuitton with the World Cup and FIFA is amazing. I mean, I'm very honored to be here. You know, you've seen it on television for so many years, but to actually hold it, it's incredible. It's, it's wonderful.
Wagon International Group is busy churning out tens of thousands of replica World Cup trophies and other souvenirs. This is no black market company. Wagon was given certification from FIFA, the football international governing body, to sell its World Cup merchandise to most markets around the world. As part of its certification, Wagon has to follow strict rules on the makeup of the trophy replicas. All replica World Cups must be limited to 15 centimeters in height. In other words, all cup replicas higher than 15 centimeters in markets are definitely fake products that haven't been certified by FIFA. Secondly, they must be a certain weight. Thirdly, gold must be involved in the electroplating. Factory workers in the southern city of Dongguan take at least three days of filing, polishing, heating and decorating to finish the pieces. Some can cost up to nearly $900. The company predicts sales will jump by 10 percent from the last World Cup four years ago, about a quarter coming from the China region. This year, a new shisha has caught the attention of many. It's shaped as the World Cup Golden Trophy. A friend of mine told me about it. I didn't believe him. I had to see it for myself. It looks peculiar. A nice feeling to enjoy shisha in the World Cup Trophy. The man behind this invention is Yahya Ghalyoun. Two years ago, the war in Syria has driven him and his family to live in Egypt. Since then, he's been selling shishas for a living. After Egypt qualified for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, we thought about what new thing we should offer during the competitions. Egyptians like watching the games in cafes while smoking shisha. So we came up with the idea so as to link shisha to the World Cup. At first, they thought of manufacturing this new design in China. With little research, though, they found that all components were here, so that World Cup trophy shisha is made in Egypt. Ghalyoun believes that with little incentive, it won't go out of fashion after the Russia 2018 World Cup ends. The World Cup comes every four years. The demand for the World Cup trophy shisha won't end. And even if it does, the shisha itself looks very attractive when you're holding the World Cup trophy while enjoying it. It's a bit more expensive than most shishas. There are more expensive designs. We've put up high prices for this season because of the ongoing World Cup. We'll make it cheaper after the tournament. This shisha is becoming popular internationally too. Ghalyoun says he's already exporting to Libya, Russia, Syria and Ukraine with requests of purchases flowing in from more countries.